Hey, what's up guys? Alaria here with a new video, and today we'll be doing a little, cool little comparison between Verizon's LTE and AT&T's LTE on the new iPhone 5. So as you can see here, I have two iPhone 5s, and they're both white. And on the left, I have a, get the camera to focus, Verizon LTE device. It has two bars of service right now. And I have on the right, an AT&T LTE device with four bars of service. So might not be a fair comparison because there's obviously better coverage on the AT&T device, but they're both on LTE and I haven't even opened the speed test app on either device. You can see it's still new. So let's go ahead and do a speed test and see who comes out on top. So let's go ahead and start here. Now I'm going to go ahead and do them separately. That way they don't interfere with each other. They're not taking any bandwidth from each other. So we're going to go ahead and start with Verizon and let's go ahead and begin test. So Verizon LTE has been, it's been out longer, so it should be more established. And right now we're looking at 7, 8, 9, it's going 10, 10 megabits down, and 10. less than one down. Now as you can see again, the device is telling me I'm on an LTE area. See, focus there, and it's 10 down, less than one up. Now, let's try the AT&T one. We'll do this test again right now, so that way we can determine it's not an anomaly. So I'll put the phone down as well, that way it's fair. And we are at 11, 11 megabits down. And about three up, so. Very similar in the down speeds. Get you right here next to each other. So 11, 10, and 3, less than 1 down. So let's try to go ahead and do a second run. And we'll actually do this at the same time. See who comes out on top. So this time we got 13 down on AT&T. We got 9 on Verizon. And again, three down and less than one, or three three up and less than one up on Verizon. And they're both on the same server, which is Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's go ahead and try it just one more time. Let's make sure the settings are all the same. Megabits, megabits. Let's change the server. Let's try one that's closer, San Marcos. Go ahead and do that. Let's go back, speed test. We'll do it at the same time. Let's go ahead and get this started. This is a close one. And AT&T got 9 down. Verizon got almost 9. 8.92. And the upload again. AT&T beats Verizon. So... Uh, one thing that's pretty noticeable here, if you can't tell, is obviously it's not a strong area here in my house with LTE on both networks, but the download speed is extremely comparable on both devices. So you can see I average about 9 or 10 on the AT&T and 8 and 9 on the Verizon. So download speeds are very close. Now upload speeds, AT&T is really doing a lot better. I average about three to two, two to three on AT&T and less than one in every test of Verizon. So, I mean, I'll, I'll do this test in an area where there's heavy LTE coverage because, I mean, earlier today I was getting over 30 megabits down on the AT&T one. I haven't tested the Verizon one now, but I can ex expect the same type of results. So, uh, as you can see, at least in my house, in my house again, guys, at least in this area, uh, AT&T is slightly faster with their LTE service than Verizon. And... I'll go ahead and test that out in a strong network coverage area for both and come back from with more results. But as of right now, guys, AT&T seems to be edging out Verizon on LTE. So if this helps make your choice, if you're on the fence, um, again, it's going to depend on what area you're in and what network provides you better coverage in the end. So uh, personally, I'm the one with the AT&T device and I've been happy with their service. So. As always, guys, hope you like this video. Please follow me on Twitter. It's going to be Alario25. If you have any questions or comments, please drop in the comment box below. And as always, guys, please subscribe. Have a good one. See you next time. Peace.